Ischemic heart disease or coronary artery disease is where we have a reduction in blood flow to the heart muscle itself. This is due to changes in the coronary vessel. Here what we can see is a coronary vessel in cross section and we see a normal lumen of the blood vessel therefore we'll have normal blood flow. But down here we have four forms of ischemic heart disease starting at the least severe moving to the most severe. Starting with the least severe or stable angina this is where we have a fibrofatty plaque or atherosclerosis a scleric part that starts to build up in the blood vessel, reducing the lumen of the blood vessel, therefore reduce blood flow. This becomes most problematic when the patient is exerting themselves, such as during exercise, but the chest pain is usually relieved on rest. Because there's no damage to the heart in this form, we see no changes to cardiac enzymes, so particularly troponin is normal. Uh, ECG changes is usually also normal. We may see some changes during a stress test. Going to it, Unstable, the next three are actually what we call acute coronary syndrome. How unstable is different to stable is that the plaque becomes damaged and platelet aggregation starts to occur. This therefore makes the pain less predictable than stable angina, which then means pain can be felt on rest opposed to during exertion. There's still no damage to the heart muscle in this form, so the troponins are also normal. However, there will be some ECG changes such as ST depression or T wave inversion. For the next two, these are known as myocardial infarction, which means there'll be necrosis of the heart muscle. Therefore, by definition, we will see troponin increase. The differences between these two is the ECG changes in a non-STEMI would be ST depression or T wave inversion most commonly, whereas ST elevation is an ST elevation. The reason for why they are different is the thrombus, which starts to build up in the blood vessel, allows some blood flow through, whereas in a STEMI, it's usually completely occluded.